Hi everyone, welcome to today's design tutorial. I'm Hannah, your host, and I'm going to be showing you how to use the consistent character tool in design. So in today's video, you're going to learn three things. One, how to build your character in design. Two, how to create a consistent character in design and apply it to multiple different environments. And three, how to insert a character into your generated image. The reason having a consistent character tool is so important because it allows you to take the same character and apply it to multiple different environments, scenes, situations, and doing multiple different actions. So this is really great if you are storyboarding or if you want to tell some sort of visual story with your generated images. So let's begin. The first step is using the text to character tool. So when you open up design, in the consistent character workspace up here, you're going to click it and that's going to take you through to consistent character tool. So we're going to go back and click on build your character. So first, before we can actually create a character, we need to train a model. So I'm going to start with a description. You can also start with images, but let's start with the description. So this little model will pop up and we're going to give the character a name. So I'm going to use myself, Hannah. Let's just paste a little write up in over there. And as you can see, design actually has a whole bunch of different visual styles, but I'm just going to be using the design 3D render style for this tutorial. So I have selected it and now I'm generating my character preview. So before it actually makes a full generation, it actually gives us a preview. And these are the two different options on a character sheet. So we can see our character in multiple different angles and having these multiple angles is going to help train the model even better. So now the training is in progress. And as you can see, it is 40 minutes and it actually just jumped to 19 minutes. You can also close this pop-up and on the left-hand sidebar, you can see the progression. So let's take a few moments and I'll come back when that's ready. So my Hannah character is now ready, as you can see here on the left. So we're going to click on it. And now we can actually take our character that we've now built and apply them to a setting. So let's say Hannah is sitting on the sand at the beach, admiring a sunset, and she's sitting on a blue tile. She's wearing sunglasses. And let's do a square format for this canvas size. And I'm going to make this a fast generation and click generate. As you can see on the right hand side, it is now generating and it has popped up. So the first one is almost like a mirror, but the second generation looks really good. This is exactly what I was looking for. So let's download this image as a JPEG file and let's move on to the next one. So I'm going to now apply Hannah to a different environment. So she is riding a white horse in a forest and she's happy and let's put a horse riding helmet on her for safety. So let's generate and again she has popped up on the right hand side. So as you can see I did not include enough detail in the prompt so the whole horse was not generated. So we'll come back later and generate a full version of the horse but in the meantime Hannah is working at a computer. Obviously, I'm a graphic designer and I'm in my home office and I'm concentrating really intensely looking at my monitor screen, you know, being a great designer. So as you can see here, again, we have two beautiful generations and it has now applied my consistent character across a new setting. Now, this is what I love about the consistent character tool is that I am in all of these various environments and you can see the one character being shown across all these things. The next thing I'm going to do is create something supernatural. So let's have her riding on a dragon and see how the design AI interprets this prompt. And as you can see here, it has accurately generated my prompt and I think this is super cool. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is quickly go back and regenerate that horse, but I'm going to add a much more detailed prompt and let's add a waterfall in this time. And as you can see here, the more detailed my prompt was, the better the generation ended up. Now that we have our consistent characters built up in a bunch of different scenes, the third part of the video is showing you how to insert a character into the existing generated image. So to insert a character, you just need to go click back and say insert character. From here, you're going to select the character that you would like to insert. So you can either build your own character or you can choose an existing preset. For this tutorial, I am choosing Lip Boy, an existing preset, and I'm going to make him feed a carrot to the horse. I recommend using the lasso tool to draw out the area that you want to insert the character into. So I have clicked generate and as you can see, we have four different variations of the character to insert. 
These are very cute. However, I didn't stipulate that I wanted him to hold the carrot up towards the horse's mouth. So let's quickly update our generation and lasso a little bit more and update the prompt to be a bit more specific. So as you can see now, he is holding the carrot up towards the horse's mouth. The final thing that I'm going to show you in this tutorial is how to build a character using an image. So if we go all the way back to build your character, we're going to click start with images. We're going to give our character a name. So let's call this one artist. Now, as you can see, I have three different images here and I have different angles of the face. So we're going to now generate and start training the model based on these three images. Now you can use various images to train your model. Just make sure that it is the same character and preferably in a variety of different angles. This way you will have better results with your generation. So now the character artist has been created. We can now create a consistent character scene for them and pop them into an environment. So let's have them in an art gallery admiring some art in the museum. And as you can see here in the consistent character panel on the right, we have two different generations to choose from. We can now take artist and apply that character to a variety of different scenes and situations. And that is the Design Consistent Character Tool. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you found it helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more educational design tutorials. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.